Today I'm going to make a southern peach cobbler, which is my go-to, most decadent ever, totally over the top, completely ridiculous, but totally worth it favorite dessert recipe. This week on Working Class Foodies. I start off with my own variation on a classic southern drop dough recipe. First, preheat the oven to 375. To make the drop dough, you need two sticks of butter cut into quarter inch chunks. In then in the bowl of your food processor, combine a cup and a quarter of all-purpose flour, half a cup of white sugar. I substitute about a quarter cup of cornmeal for the flour in my drop dough. The cornmeal in the drop dough really complements the peaches because it adds a nice nutty texture and flavor to the dough. Two teaspoons of baking powder and a half teaspoon of sea salt. Pulse this together to combine and then pulsing slowly add in your two sticks of cold butter. The mixture should resemble fine small crumbs. Then pour in three quarters of a cup of milk I use 2%, you could also use skim, soy, or whole. Mix this together until it just becomes slightly creamy. Don't overwork, the dough should be soft and sticky, but manageable. Lightly butter your Dutch oven and drop your dough in with a spoon. It doesn't matter if it doesn't reach all the sides, it'll melt into itself while it bakes in the oven. Bake your bottom drop dough crust about 15 to 20 minutes. While your drop dough bottom crust is baking, prepare your fruit filling. First, I washed about six peaches. Using your paring knife, gently cut slices out of the peaches. You can peel the peaches if you like, but I prefer to leave them rustic with the skins on. Peaches are in season right now, so this is the best time to make this dessert. It's not necessary, but I added in about a pint of blueberries to help cut the butteriness of the overall dish. Add in your blueberries. And then add in about a tablespoon or two of sugar, just to start getting the juices going. Then stir in about a teaspoon of lemon juice and half a teaspoon of lemon zest. And finally, totally decadent little touch, I like to add in about a shot of bourbon to the fruit to give it a nice subtle smokiness that really brings out the sweetness and the flavor of the peaches. Now bourbon's supposed to come from Kentucky and peaches are supposed to come from Georgia, but if New York can grow a good peach then there's no reason why we can't distill a good bourbon. I use Hudson Valley bourbon from upstate. Check it out. It's amazing. And a teaspoon of vanilla. Stir this all together and then if you have any juices accumulating at the bottom, stir in about a tablespoon full of flour just to soak up all those juices. The fruit will create more juices as it cooks so you don't want it to go into the oven too juicy. We're gonna take a quick break. When we come back it's time to make our crumb top crust and bake our delicious southern skillet peach cobbler. I like to top this cobbler with a buttercrumb crust. First, you need four tablespoons or half a stick of salted butter. Microwave this to melt it completely. And then set it aside to let it cool slightly. I add in about a quarter cup of pecans to complement the nuttiness of the cornmeal in the bottom drop dough. Then add a third of a cup of sugar and about a cup of all-purpose flour. Pulse this together to combine and then pulse in your microwave melted butter. The mixture should be coarse and crumbly but you should be able to form small lumps with it. That's perfect. Pour your peaches over your baked bottom drop dough crust and then sprinkle over your pecan crumb crust topping. You want to leave this crust thin because it has such a thick bottom crust. Pop the cobbler uncovered back into your oven and bake 45 minutes to an hour until the top is golden brown and the fruit is bubbling on the sides. Serve by scooping out with an ice cream scoop and serve in a plate or a bowl topped with creme fraiche, plain or vanilla yogurt, or a little vanilla ice cream. Depending on whether or not you use blueberries and bourbon, the total cost for this cobbler will run between $10 and $15. A little bit of this cobbler goes a long way. I recently took a dish of it to a barbecue where it took 20 hungry friends to polish the whole thing off. 
So now it's your turn. Let me know what your favorite peach recipe is. And if you have a best decadent dish, let me know. I'd love to hear it. We'll see you next week on Working Class Foodies.